Meantime, we're getting some econ data across the tape, uh, some confidence and some home housing data. Let's get to Rick Santelli. Rick? Yes, from the conference board, our September reads on consumer confidence. Expecting a number a little north of 105, a disappointment here at 103. 103, that's the weakest since May when it was at 102 and a half. Some revisions, some good revisions, though, for last month are going to help. 106.1 moves up to 108.7. On a present situation, uh, 147.1, that's the best since July. But keep in mind, July wasn't that long ago. We just had a lower read in between. And last month's lower read, 144.8, moves up a bit to 146.7. And finally, what lies ahead? Maybe the most important of all, 73.7. That's the weakest since May as well. Now, let's look at new home sales, shall we? New home sales, 675,000 seasonally adjusted annualized units. That is the weakest since March, and that follows a 714,000 that was upgraded to 739,000, which still keeps it at the best since February of last year. And before we go to Diana real quickly, Richmond Fed Manufacturing breaks a record of 16 negative months in a row with a positive five business conditions turns back negative at minus 5, which means 17, 18 of 19 are now in negative territory. And for that very close but still disappointing new home sales number, Diana's going to give us a little bit more granular detail. Diana? Well, Rick, it's all about mortgage rates. Look, these are signed contracts. That's how new home sales are counted, signed contracts in August. And in August, the 30-year fix went well over 7% and stayed there. And that's what's hitting new home sales now, down 8.7% month to month, still up nearly 6% year over year. I'll note that the median price was 400000 $430,000. That is down 2% year over year. So the builders are clearly trying to lower prices to offset these higher mortgage rates. They're also buying down the mortgage rates as an incentive. We've heard that from the home builders starting to do that again. They had stopped doing that in the spring. Also, homes to a 7.8 month supply. That's up from a 7.3 month supply in July. And that just means that the builders have more to sell, which is better because obviously there's nothing for sale on the existing home market. I would note one number I love to look at, which is the homes that have been sold but have not been started. That have been pulling back, but it's actually rising now again. The builders are up against all kinds of issues with labor and material delays and costs, and they're saying that it's harder for them to build more homes. So they still have high supply, but when you see that number start to go up, you have to say, okay, they're selling a lot, but they're not able to build them. So again, a disappointing number for August all based on higher mortgage rates and affordability. And I'll just say today that yesterday, the 30-year fix went over 7.5% for the first time in more than 22 years. Sarah, back to you.